hello everyone welcome to my channel my name is Ernesta. if today is your first time you're welcome and if you've been part of this family i just want to say thank you guys and god bless you if you have not subscribed to my channel please do subscribe to my channel and belong to this family it is a wonderful place to be i tell you the truth you will learn a lot from here and i want you to teach me as well you might have something that not that you might you have something that i will want to learn so please just hit the red button and thumbs up for me and you know leave me comments as well let us chat today and you know things will be uh, good and i want you to know one thing i know you'll say wow thumbs up when i finish watching by the time you finish you forget so as you are watching now just thumbs up for me and i want to thank you for the you know watching today to not to some of you are going to the end and some are still stopping but you are stopping not at the beginning you are going past even the middle going towards the end before you stop because i can see everything on you know here and i'm grateful that you guys have really really improved and my arrow now is like pointing up that yes it's increasing online before that it was pointing down i'm i'm just saying see i'm thompson up for you guys thank you guys god bless you and you are getting me to where i am going to that is why you see that i'm all smiley 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 and i'm happy i am so so happy and that is why i will not disappoint you thank you guys i'm going to go straight to this video today the last time i talked about how comforting the um the symmetry is or graveside or whichever you want to call it i kind of said i was going there yes i was going there i could not hide myself or tell you that someone told me no if i keep saying that to be honest with you if i keep saying someone i will drop it in that eye in at a point so let me just be straight with you yes i i know people who go there and i met a lady who i met there and that is why i'm doing this thing and i've had few people that i've spoken to since i i you know i branched out and they they tell me this thing so it's not like a one man thing people are going through a lot and we we deal with things differently you deal with yours the way you you feel better and i deal with it the way i feel better i know some people i spoke to some people who are sleeping around just to ease their pain and all kind of things i kind of find out that is happening that people are doing to ease their pain i'm not going to judge them and i don't think you should be judging them because you know why we all deal with things differently i know some people they will say oh if it is me i won't do like that i won't i won't go to that level and when it happens to them they go worse than what you will do so please if you are the type that always say if it is me i will not do this wait till it happens to you and you are able to deal with it in a different way then you can say because when you say that thing even if it's not meant to happen to you it will come to you so that you will deal with it the way you think you want to deal with it because you will taste what they are tasting so please don't always judge people when it comes to situation i tell you i've seen quite a few people that will say if it is me if it is me and those things those things came around to them i've seen few it came around to them and they did not deal with it in any better way than those other people so please stop saying those things for your own good for your own good i mean it for your own good stop saying it if it is happening and you think it's bad just ignore and leave it there i'm gonna jump straight to this it's not because of me you can judge you can do anything it's okay but i know that if you are not careful you'll get it back it's not a cause that is the truth so be careful i kind of said in my other video that i went there and um and uh, sometimes i stayed there for hours and no it was not like i go every day like i said and i kind of told you that i sit down on the floor i stand or i lean on something i know i lean on something sometimes you know when i say lean on maybe like tree or i, I don't like tree i'll just lean on a tree or something something and that was how it went for a while until i started seeing myself going maybe uh two three times in a year or something you know i can't even uh, remember sometimes i will not even remember when last i went and the thing was going on till another major thing came to kind of occupy me and that major thing i was kind of uh, you know asking for a day at a time to stay alive because that point i want to be alive when this major things started happening or like before that i want to sleep and not be here but then i started you know like asking god for a second and a day and uh, uh to be alive to fulfill destiny to be who god says i am 
so i had something to hold on to to put myself together because i was seeing the an end to a situation and at that end i know that the beginning of a new thing is starting so i was standing between it that i will not be dragged with the end uh that i will see the new i don't know if you understand you know i know something is some situation is ending that is not good for me and i know that after the end of that situation if i make it out of there i'm going to have a glorious life and i was planning and i was holding on to god to to see the beginning of the new situation and to be who god says i should be and that gave me that you know courage to kind of work hard to ask god for a day at a time and i'm grateful that i'm here today that i saw the end of it, that situation and i'm in a new era a new beginning and i am seeing what god says i am really i'm not there yet but i am walking towards it and i am going they no day that is the same each day comes with his own newness and i'm grateful so please please whatever the situation is whatever it is i want you to know that you can ask for the end of the problem and you will see the end of the problem and you can have a new beginning that you will hold on to a new beginning i don't know how to explain it i'm not going to say things that i don't want to say but if you are in a situation and you don't know what i'm saying or you want to know what i'm saying you can call me and we can talk and uh, i can you know that way i will be able to kind of uh, be open more to you i'm sorry guys on this video i know you think why am i not open uh, opening up to you guys i am not um i don't want to talk about it now or maybe ever i don't know but one day i will i will talk about those things but for those who are going through this pain and going to symmetry i know call me and we can talk and if you know anyone that is doing it please help them out do not leave them or judge them in the situation they are going to but i tell you whatever they are doing going there and not doing anything just standing is not as bad as getting involved in in drugs or getting in, involved in prostitution just to ease the pain or getting involved in some kind of horrible things that they cannot say out there i tell you this one they just go there and they stand and they leave i don't see anything wrong in it I don't i'm not condemning them but it is not good i'm not saying it's good but it is not good but it's not like they are doing something there why it's not good is that anything that will pull you back all the time that will take you back when you are 10 steps ahead and then it will pull you back you start from uh, step two again to start going up for me it's not good that is the only thing because when you start going with your emotion and start kind of trying to forget those situation and you go up there and you come back to that situation then you pick that situation up again and you start dealing with that situation is bringing you back from where you should be going that is where i have a problem with it and there are spiritual you know things attached to it as well which it's not everyone that goes to that side or it's not everyone that believe in these things so for those who don't believe the the only way i can tell you that my reason for saying is not good is is it is dragging you back it's not letting you go forward so try and go forward and not go back to those things and another thing i want you to know again is that if you have people around you that are going through things stuff please try and talk to them try and if they don't want to talk about it it's okay but if they want to talk about it don't shut them up if they bring it up to want to talk about the, the lost or something listen to them let them talk about it if they need to cry cry or you know let them cry whatever they need because i noticed that when you want to talk to people about it when you bring that topic down they will change the story for you when you bring it down they will kind of change it they are more or less telling you they don't want to hear it they don't want to talk about it please help them to talk about it encourage them to talk about it so that they can feel better that way the pain will come out of them that way the pain will be gone they don't have to be doing other things to kind of ease the pain because they can always talk about it anyhow and don't always judge them that why is it that they're always talking about it they should move on no when they when they have when they are okay with it you will see they will move on you'll be surprised that they will not be talking about it anymore so please help them around you and if you have family that have been through it they are not talking about you you try and go to them and kind of know who they are and see if you talking about that thing can help them try and talk about it or ask them do you want to talk about it if they say no it's okay if they say yes talk to them about it and help them out as well and if you are going through it you can go for counseling or you can you know if you go for counseling they will listen to you but sometimes i know that with the counseling 
is kind of like official so you don't you don't i don't know how to explain it you don't uh you don't feel uh what you want to feel from it but when you talk to family or friends about it you feel better that then or that way than the counselor that is how i think it is or the feelings is and for the people in this thing the partners they hardly talk about it and i know that especially when one party is blaming the other one for what has happened it is hard for you to go and talk to that person about how you feel as well they do not know how far you carry this child you you went through all the pain you spent your money you did every worrying and all and then they blame you that you killed that child because they are in pain yes i understand that their own pain is what is causing them to say what they are saying but at the end of the day they are kind of destroying someone as well one is gone already you don't have to destroy another one you have to help each other to kind of hold on and make this thing work i stopped when this whole thing was going on the end of uh, a, a situation and the beginning of a new thing and then i was not going anymore i went to visit a friend and she said to me oh i kind of say oh sh let me do your hair for you and she said no i'm not putting with on this time i want to i'm going for um going to church we have a program and i I cannot put on with one and I said, what kind of uh, uh, church is that that you're not putting on with one? And she said, uh, mountain of fire. And when she said mountain of fire, I was in another church then. And I said, okay, can I come with you? Because then I just kind of need where to go and kind of calm my head. And as long as it's the house of God, I will go, especially the house of God that I can trust, I will go. So I said, okay, mountain of fire, asked her a few questions and she told me and then I went to it her. I didn't even know it was deliverance, but we were there, they were going on with the prayers and everything and everything. I did not even get my head around all the prayers and everything. And and that particular was my first time in that church or knowing about that church. And they, they were dealing with going to the cemetery. That was the whole three days was the only thing they were talking about. How symmetry is bad, how symmetry is this, how going there is that. And I was looking at them like, oh, these guys, please come on. You know, because I was a Christian, not just Christian, I, I am a believer. So and when they are going on about it, I'm like, come on, guys, this is not as bad as you are saying it. But at the end of the three days, uh, uh, you, you don't eat for that three days, you pray through it. At the end of that three days, I kind of started having that feeling that, okay, is this thing really, really the way they have said it? But all these things they are saying is not what i do there or i don't i just stand there i don't you know so why would he have any repercussion on me as a as a human being or not so i started weighing the thing before i left there that day i went on the altar and i said god they said this thing is wrong i know i've not been for a long time if it is really wrong and you don't want me to go there please do something about it so i left there and i said if you do it i'm going to testify and that was how i left there that day and to be honest with you, I kind of didn't even remember I didn't go there again for a while until I think a year after then I kind of find out that I've not been there for a long time. That was when so now it came to me giving my testimony now and I kind of like, oh, why would I now stand before this crowd and tell them I used to do this? And it was so, so, so for me, I felt so like um, it's a shameful thing or it's something that I shouldn't have. Uh, you know done and I, so i could not give the testimony for two years i think two years or three years until we went on they have this uh a program they do so after that i now started going for the prayers more there in mountain of fire and then eventually i just switched to mountain of fire so that is where i am at the moment and that is why i'm telling you that look we all get our deliverance in in different ways and I'm going to tell you after I now decided to give my testimony, what happened next, to be honest, you will not believe it. For me, I kind of saw that really it is wrong to go there as a child of God. Oh, if you don't know, it's another thing. If you don't know, it's okay. But when you get come to know, you will understand by the time I tell you the next thing, what I saw and what 
uh, was revealed to me and the things that happen, you will know that, yes, we do things, things we don't know the, the inner part of what is going on behind. Something is going on behind in the spirit realm that we do not see. I know it's not about mountain of fire now. Neither will you say it's because uh, of the prayers that I started thinking that way. No, it's not it. I will tell you everything in my last video. That may be the last uh, of this section i don't know yet but if i tell you understand why i say it is not good if you are not a believer it's still not good because anything that will drag you back is not good for you and if you're a believer spiritually it is not good and i'll tell you the reason why i say it is not good and i'll show you the evidence of the things that i am saying why it is not good i will see you in my next video i'm not going to go further I'm going to stop here. Sorry, I was almost going to cry at a point, but I, I am grateful that I didn't. And I will stop here and we will talk about it more in my next video. I'm going to love you and leave you. I've not said that word for a long time. So I try to kind of kick it out, but sometimes it's coming around me. So guys, I just want to say thank you for watching my videos again. Thumbs up for me if you haven't. Subscribe if you haven't and watch my videos to the end that one i'm holding you guys i'm holding you tight you know please watch my videos to the end and help me out here god bless you and i'll see you again bye <laughs>